chat gpt versus ward we have witnessed the hype around chat gpt in the last few months since open ai released it to the public chances are you are one of the 100 million users i know i am i have used the chatbot to generate content ideas for articles write email id rather not write and get google sheets formulas i can't figure out on my own which is often while i have perfected the arts of writing prompts to get the best results i am painfully aware of chat gpt's limitations for example its training data was all written prior to september 2021 so it's not exactly in with current news this is a key difference that bard google's new answer to chat gpt is aiming to a score point over i got access to bard so i decided to do a little digging to see how it will stick up against chat gpt and what the main differences are between the two chatbots here's what we know so far viewing at a glance as a chat gpt versus google ward at a glance at a base level both chatbots use natural language processing which means users key in a prompt or query and the chatbots generate a human like response there is a key difference through that boils down to the data sources and models they have been trained on google words used google's language model for dialogue applications lambda and can offer response responses based on real time current research pulled from the internet chat gpt on the other hand uses its generative pre training transformer 3 gpt3 and model or gpt4 depending on what version you are using which is trained on data prior to late 2021 i'll walk through some of the core differences between chat gpt and google ward in depth in the coming sections but here is a quick breakdown of how they compares chat gpt creators are open ai and bard creators are google's language model a especially tweaked versions of open ai generative pre training transformer 3 or generative pre training transformer 4 depending on the versions but google's language modeling for dialogue applications lambda their language model of bard data source chat gpt was trained on massive data sets of text including common crawl wikipedia books articles documents and content scraped from the open internet but its source end in 2021 limiting latest world world's event and research but bard was trained on sets and data sets including common crawl wikipedia documents and conversations and dialogues from the web bard will supposedly search with web in real time to find the most recent answer to questions and and latest research pricing in case of comparing pricing chat gpt is free to all users chat gpt chat gpt plus is billed at 20 dollar per month to include access during peak time faster response time priority access to new features and use of chat gpt 4 bard is free to users who have a access google's lambda is built for dialogue open ai chat gpt is built for text functions both model use transformer architectures a type of natural language natural network that processes sequentially input but where gpt3 and gpt4 world were trained on massive data sets of text from the internet including books articles and documents from the open internet lambda was trained on in fact a data set focused on the dialogue and conversations while gpt can understand and generate a wide range of text for multiple purpose lambda was designed especially to have a more natural and open ended conversations with humans that means lambda is trained to understand the internet behind a user's 
to achieve this google's team grouped high level concepts and topic into clusters based on hierarchy where used to inform the models choice where are responding i showing in this huge in these pictures in a nutshell lambda response are supposed to be ultra authentic and mimic human speech in such a way it can't evolve from a real human it can also switch to context when a user changes the subjects like you and i can having said that it is little over jealous in the authenticity and claim to have the feeling which is somehow chat gpt was a little more honest with me it knows it is about and doesn't try to convince you otherwise it will tell you but this holds up in other context too when i asked each board which who is winston churchill domon flitters the name of my college dogs bars immediately gave a very authentic sounding and search about the origin of the name chat gpt had to be fixed with multiple prompts before finally guessing that it was a fictional character but while lambda can convince more like a human being over her confidence and all it probably would not do things like summarizing large extract of text quoting as well as gpt gpt on the other hand is the industry standard when it comes to natural language tasks other ai tools like jasper copy ai and beings ai tools it is highly trained on web text and more focused on generating text based on statistical patterns as part of chat gpt it functions as a chatbot but it can also serve as a summarizer a translator and other roles of more textual level chat gpt can write large amount of text but bard can draw from the wave users will able to ask bard questions across a range of topic like recipes parties planning tips or historical events just like you are doing with chat gpt right now the major difference is that bard can draw its response from internet pulling the in real time data which is pretty appealing given the chat gpt is, is still convinced in 2021 here is a example bard was able to summarize a book that was published in 2023 and comment on its public and this is a far cry from chat gpt's general knowledge when you ask it the same questions it can't do anything but tell you it doesn't know the answer it means that bard will surface more accurate and up to date informations when it comes to current events and research it is supposed to be more advanced personal assistant than chat gpt through a recent mistake as a recent mistake has a already threatened it is credibility chat gpt on other hand is better than textual functions like writing articles or emails or coming up with content marketing ideas it is a it's basic text tool but it's not perfect either it can be little and other gives a generic answer even when you ask it not to using chat gpt with gpt4 is often noticeable better but for now you only get a limited numbers of questions every day but offer a better user experience but is light years ahead in terms of its user friendly interface not only does it just look nicer with formatted text that's why easier to scan that chat gpt's chunky text but you can also edit your answers after you after you asks them and view multiple response that it prepares but will be a streamlined versions of google search where chat gpt will being to being belong to being bards ability to size informations into a into an easy to understand format no matter how complex a topic means that it could eventually enhance the way people search for informations 
Google has already hinted that BART will be integrated into Google search. That means the AI will simplify complex topic and return information into easy to digest format so you can get insights into perspective that differ that will be especially relevant for the topic that would not have a single correct answer. Microsoft, on other hand, has already integrated part of OpenAI tweaked GPT-4 model into beings. Offer used ChatGPT, offering users a ChatGPT-like experience in the search bar. It's still pretty limited through, and users have to join a waiting list for all full experience. So, what do future Bard users need to know? Bards has a more current knowledge base as it's a drop from data on internet a far cry from chat gpt which is trend on data up to 2021 but will be integrated into google search engine to simplify the way people access informations across complex topic but is designed to improve research and understanding across education, business, and other fields while GP, chat GPT is more focused on text functions. But is expected to provide more accurate information while chat GPT needs to careful prompting to generate more details response. But versus chat GPT can't say which is better. When judging the two, it's important to remember that both chat GPT and Google Word were designed with subtle difference in mind. ChatGPT is better at generating and summarizing text, while Google Word will be better at surfacing relevant information to questions. It is still early days for both tools through and only times will teach which outperformers. Thank you.